Okay. Oh, I don't like that the background is blurry if we've got something in the forefront, but that's okay. We're checking out the next game now, A Hero's Rest. And apparently there's a 20-day demo, as in the, the in-game time is 20 days. We'll get to start at the town, recruit heroes, craft stuff, and have a great time, I suppose. Lovely. What, what is it, though? Like, what's what's that? What are we going to do? So we're going to build shops for craft items. Um, and then do we sell them? No, we'll give we'll give those items to heroes to make them succeed. Apparently, um, it's developed and published by Van Argand Games, and it's coming out very very soon on the twelfth of October, actually, in early access. So let's dive into a fantasy world, I'd say. After quickly going through the settings, <clears throat> lovely. That's that's good. Just vsync. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. A new game. The town name. I'm hiding this slightly. Wait. Let me quickly vanish. The town name is gonna be... 2D Fantasy. I'm so good with names, right? 2D Fantasy. It sounds like I'm scratching on wood when I type. Also, this is not fantasy. Fan... Fantasy. There, there it is. Cool. Select a map. A new beginning. Uh, yeah, because that's not... A new beginning is totally fine. Recommended for a challenging experience. Le oh. Yeah, I don't know we're going to do challenging. This is also relaxing. This is also hardcore, but... Who doesn't like a challenge, right? Let's go. Here we are. It's meant to sound like a quill on rough paper. I think so too, but it does sound like scratching on wood. Hello, Dan. Welcome in. I hope you're good today. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out, by the way. I do appreciate you. Thank you for lurking and watching and chatting with me, with us. It's good to have you all. Did not select the first slot. No, I never do. I never do. <laughs> all of this looks very nice. Very empty. We're gonna build things here. Hi, Pika. Looks like a tavern management title. Yes, except for you don't really manage a tavern, but a whole town, a whole fantasy town. And then you create items for your heroes or something. No, I never do because um, I, I always want to be different, you know? And it makes me very happy if I don't choose the first save slot. So if I can select it, I just, it's just never the first. And it's always an odd number. If I can actually go to 17, I go to 17. Or to the last one. But Anyway, it's just, it's just me. A letter from Mr. George. Greetings. I write with pleasure to inform you. His Majesty the King and his great wisdom has gotten it into his head to appoint your father to develop this piece of land into a bustling little pit stop for passing adventurers to rest up and buy whatever it is these adventurous types need. Of course, your lazy old man will do not do anything to avoid his responsibilities and is nowhere to be seen. As your father's, I am sure, very capable child, this task falls to you. Use whatever resources your father has left you and be sure to please his majesty's wishes. Don't forget that each piece of land you own will be tax taxed to fill his majesty's coffers, undeniably, to support his subjects. Sincerely, Mr. George, steward to his majesty, the King of Falonia. What? Where do I start? Okay, that's, that was a weird animation. I'm glad you asked. I prefer being the hands-on type, type of guy. Okay, the camera. The camera is slow. No, actually, the camera starts slow and then speeds up. And then we can rotate it like this. Beautiful. His face of a twitchy emote. It could totally be one. <laughs> you count your steps. Yeah, well, why not? Hello, Mobble. Welcome in. Thanks for lagging. The guy looks like Papa John's. 
I don't know what he looks like. We don't have Papa John's here. I just heard of it. Sounds like they introduced spam mail, right? <laughs> just click this link, you know? <laughs> you won. <laughs> Great. Okay, zooming. Yeah, I know we, we got that. Oh, zoom is in increments, though. It's not smooth. I don't like that. Excellent. Feel free. Wait, what? Around freely. I think it's time to learn about the interface. Sure. Resources up here. I've got 30,000. Oh, that font is very tiny and difficult to read. 30,000 gold. Then there is fruit. Fish is a fruit. What? Isn't that supposed to be food? Oh, never mind. I can. Okay, I can cycle through there. Okay, no, it's. <laughs> fruit del mar. Right? Frutti di mare. <laughs> it is a daring zoom, yes. Okay, so this cycles through, which is odd. So we've got resources here. Sure. You will use resources for building your shops, crafting your wares, and of course, let's not forget paying taxes for the lots you purchased. Here, over, uh, hover. I, I can't read anymore. Hover over any of your resources to show their stock. Click the resource icon to change which resources you track. I'll lock the pop-up open by pressing the the round circle button. What what kind of button is that? Oh, down here. <laughs> I don't have this button on my mouse. What are you talking about? Okay, now I I understood. Yeah, we do have to pay taxes. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you, Wes. So <laughs> welcome in. Hello. We riot? No, we don't. We don't have to riot. Time and date is in the top right. With speed controls. In the bottom left, I'm not hiding. I'm just sitting strangely a bit off center here. Or like not off center, but off corner. I'm sitting off corner. General information. Uh, current stock. Nothing. Oh, this is also so tiny. Reputation. Oh, I suppose reputation of the stars then. Okay. Royal tokens and current heroes. We've got, we've got nothing. Um, resume the game speed. Okay. Did I pause it now again? Why do I... N Okay, so one pauses it, which is odd. Build and inventory buttons. You can access those, okay. You may as well access your inventory by pressing full hotkey. All right, here we go. No items. We just really don't have anything. Okay, that's not true. We've got a bit of food and jute, but also money. We've got a bit of money, so that's something. Hi Snuffit, welcome. I hope you're good today. No, no, we're not we're not writing. No, put away the pitchforks. We don't need them yet. Open the build menu by pressing the icon. Why why is the inventory full, but I don't have a shortcut? Oh no, hey, B for build. Good. Select the starting lot. The first one is courtesy of his majesty the king. Keep in mind, the bigger the lots, the more taxes you pay. Start by building at least five floors, nine walls and door. Oh, I thought floors and up, you know, <laughs> vertically, you know, a medieval house that's just five floors high. I'm like, are you sure about this? It's going to be a wizard's tower. No, D different thing. Okay. Perfect. As Raphael, exactly. Riot until the taxes are due. Then you're going to get the pitchforks out, okay? Construction. So I'm gonna start this here. A log wall, a log frame. I'm gonna start with a building over here. I can't place that there. Where can I place it? Oh, I need to buy it first, I see. You and E to rotate. All right, we're gonna rotate. <laughs> a riot in one hour is perfect. A pre-riot practice. 
You can practice, yes. I can't place this here. Why not? Start by building at least five floors. Do I need to start with a floor? Strange. Strange. Okay, maybe we're going to start with a the floor then. Stone, wooden, diamond, tile. Wait, 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 wait. The wooden floor, all right. Simple wooden floor looks great, feels great, and it's cheap. Diamond tile floor. Ground your customers with style with this diamond-shaped flooring. is exactly the same price as the dirt cheap wooden floor. We're going to get diamonds. Beautiful. Okay, does that work now? It does. This is so strange. I need floors first. Tutorial discount. I'll take it. Maybe he doesn't know. At least five floors. Okay. So we're going to go with six. So it's, it's going to look nice. The door. The door is going to go here. Beautiful. And then building, building doesn't feel nice. Is there also a wall that doesn't have another? Um, a, a pillar here in between. Ah, all right, that's fine. Uh, the NASA launch. Ooh, did it actually launch? I did not watch it. Did it go well? Everybody okay? That the game certainly does not need screen shake when placing things. No, I'm glad it's not a thing. I forgot to press shift. Oh wait, we don't have windows. Okay, we, we have one window here now. Yay! Do we need a roof too? Great! Heroes and visitors will soon arrive. We want to make sure that we have a nice meal waiting for them, since that will probably be their priority. Just like ours is to take their gold. Okay, we need an innkeeper. We'll find that in the menu. Workstations. And innkeeper. I would like to change... <laughs> Okay, I would like to change the the camera angle because the walls are so high. I'd like to watch, like, look at this from a more top-down view so I can actually see inside better. Wait, the arrow is for customers. There we go. We have an innkeeper now. Let's move to the next step. Let's go. Oh, not yet. Oh, because for you it's morning. Never mind. I was I was confused. I was thinking about my morning, but yeah, 45 minutes. Got it. Keep me posted, please. All right. As you can see, you have been given requirements. Without them, the building will not provide shop quality. I do see requirements, but they're so tiny. They're really tiny. Um, okay, that affects overall town reputation, morale, and shop upgrades. How do we fix it? Requirements. We'll need a quest board, but we don't meet the requirements to place one. Okay, we need to build another shop. Look for a new lot. Cheap one. Buy it and build a new workshop with a forge. 9,842. Oh, rotating the, rotating the camera makes me dizzy. What's well, the only one that I can buy, apparently? I need to buy a new workstation. A forge. Tailor station. A blacksmith forge. 
You feel like you can put this here without actually having a building for it? No, no, I need walls and a door and... Okay, okay. No, 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 it doesn't work like this. We are building an entire medieval fantasy town, apparently, yes. Maybe. So... No, they're not a lot of lots. I need a stockpile. I can't place that here. Okay. Construction. We'll go with a diamond again. The diamond. I can rotate that too. I don't want that, but that's cool. I can't place it here. Pretty. Why not? Okay. So... Can I move this? Double click to move. Do you think the forge has to be outside? Maybe the forge has to be outside. That is okay. We'll, we'll put... We'll put the door here. We'll get a window there. Maybe a window outside to the forge too. All right. Building stuff is tedious in the game, unfortunately. I hope I'm almost done. Build a stockpile and a counter. Workstation. Stockpile goes here. A vendor counter. Suppose that's it. Hammer and anvil. Done it. So this. Uh, <laughs> I always want to tilt the angle, but I can't. New training options unlocked and plus one green shard, whatever that is. Okay. Last thing on the buy list: window shutters. It was a. It was a vendor. A, no, a counter. A counter. It was a counter. I suppose it would be a fire hazard inside, but it... still, having a forge inside, blacksmiths did that. Favorite demo so far? Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, Floodland was my favorite today, but also my favorite overall now. Okay, so I've done that. Click on the innkeeper button in the bottom corner for to fast travel. Oh, I don't like this at all. It rotates the camera. You Riot, pitchforks, chat, pitchforks, we need them. Let's go. Smoke has it. Uh, fine. Fast travel. Okay, we've got... What? Finish building the innkeeper. Oh, there we go. Now it is there. One oven. Brick oven. Brick oven goes here. A stockpile as well. Because that's not a health hazard. No. And a quest board. I saw this earlier already. Uh, oh, here. Yeah, quest board. Can I place this outside? I don't see where, where the front is and where the back is because of... You know, I can't change the camera angle. Let's say that's the front, I'm not sure. Perfect, very good. Yes, pitchforks ready, you're rioting. Thank you, very good. This game looks interesting. The screenshots also suggest the conflicting perspectives. There's an isometric first person, third person screenshot. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure yet about that. We'll see. Enjoy the meeting, thank you for liking. Click the innkeeper button. Oh, I already did this. Marvelous! We now have a workshop pit stop for anyone to come and spend their gold and fill our pockets. <clears throat> I mean, your pockets, of course. All right, I'll just focus there for a moment. Let's talk about managing your shops and heroes. Click on the in vendor to open the details panel. All right, we can keep track of the shop progress. Pay attention to the shop quality board. 
bar at the bottom. And better quality means happier customers and more profit from upgrades. Okay, requirements men. Yes. You can turn off the music, but I, I actually like this. We can name this station name. Who wants to be the innkeeper? Why fog in the tutorial stage? I I don't know. But now that you mention it, it's, it's not necessary, is it? Todd. Todd, the innkeeper. The blacksmith? Anybody want to be the blacksmith? You can't be a tavern wench. No, there's only there's only one one past one. Mr. Tengu. I know he's actually the station, but that's okay. As you see, progression and decorations play a big part in off upgrading a shop. Let's kick things up a notch by enlarging the inn, adding at least two tables and a few chairs. I thought it was gonna manage the 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 heroes. Chairs, you say? Okay, first we're gonna get a table. F to toggle snap mode. Wait, only one person can sit here? Okay. If you say so. Oh, and then I... It doesn't move together. I see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't place it there. All right, all right. Good. Two tables and a few chairs. Maybe we need three people sitting there. Done. Click the innkeeper counter. Open the food menu. Craft 10 meals for visitors and heroes. I don't like the zooming in motion. It was slow, but I feel like that's not necessary. Hello, Kirill. Welcome. Ah, oh, Zalok. Hello. Here's one chair. Perfect. Thank you, Snoffit. We're gonna get that inside too. Ten meals. What kind of meals? Have over the images to check the effects. Right. Now we have to... Now I have to do this again. Uh, okay. So, plus 5% HP restore and 10% MP restore. This is also very tiny. How about we make apples? We're gonna call them. What we're gonna call? Why? Why can I rename apples? We'll make ten apples. Red bulls. <laughs> Red bulls. The end. <laughs> did you see? Did you see the highlight video I recently posted? Um, I think earlier this week oranges did you did you look at the thumbnail did you see what mystery did for the thumbnail <clears throat> okay good okay we've got 10 red balls now <laughs> we have five bat ones and five normal ones it's great you saw it I'm just gonna say you have to look at it. You have to watch it. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. You are a natural. Crafting items cost resources, as you already know. But to gather most of them, you will need to send leaving heroes on quests to get them for you. So let's set some quests for them. Click on the counter or the quest board. Craft. I need to craft quests. This is really funny. Craft three farming and mining gather quests for fruit with 9 to 13 CR rating. Use the risk slider to adjust the optimal CR. What, what now? Okay, I think it's funny that I'm I'm the quest giver in this one, because usually, you know, you're the chosen one. Yeah, no creative mystery. He is very creative, super funny. Fetch quest. This is where you choose your quest type. Gather quests provide less rewards at lower risk. Slay quests provide more rewards at higher risk. 
The star button allows you to prioritize the quest and have heroes take it before other available quests. This can be changed in the inventory. Okay, gather quests. You can choose a reward for your heroes to bring back from the quest. A typical choice is the resource you need for crafting. That doesn't make sense. Why would I give them the resources that I need for crafting as a reward? Unless they craft and not I. Okay. And this is where I choose the quest objectives. Progress individually. Okay. Unlock new locations. Blah, blah, blah. Some slay quests will allow you to perform boss quests, which will be critical in the defense of the town. And then there's a difficulty bar. You can always find you in the difficulty. Sneak or overt for less or more risk. The optimal CR... Oh, it's the challenge rating, of course. Anything above it will be effortless, resulting in slow hero progression. While being drastically below will be overwhelming, placing your heroes at impossible odds. Good. Um, <laughs> the red, red balls don't really make you fly, though. That's a different thing. The escort quests. <laughs> Maybe we can do that, too. Not just gather and, and slay, but also escort quests. Hard. Ah, perfect. Heroes will pick quests in their challenge rating range, but you can set heroes to challenging quests by signing them through the inventory menu. Okay, there's so much to read. Payout. Only a fraction of the final payout is paid and lost when posting a new quest to cover the hero's supplies. While the remaining payout will only be paid when the hero returns. Okay, so they do get an advance then. Okay, we need to gather. Um, what do we need? Food. Oh, so this is a completion reward as... They go there and this is what they bring me. I think this is badly phrased. More balls. The risk is... Oh, it doesn't say optimal. So I suppose medium is fine then. Optimal is 7 to 10. Oh, but I need 9 to 13. How do I know that it is that? It doesn't say. It doesn't... It doesn't update or anything. I'm not... I'm not sure. Also, I need three of those. Can I just say, do that again? Oh yeah, here. Does that look like a 9 to 13 challenge rating? Sun on a quest to gather twigs and berries, then snicker like a little kid. Why not? Why not? I think this is okay. Prioritize this one. Food. Oh, look at that, they're buying red balls. All right, at least the quest. The challenge rating is 7 to 10. Well, it's not quite what I wanted. Ah, whatever. Whoa, whoa, the camera did thing. Well, most resources can only be gathered by your heroes. Some can also be found in the wild. I took the liberty to find these mushrooms for you, but keep in mind there's a total of four resource types that you can find in the wild, so keep your eyes open for them. Oh, so I can do that too then. Okay, apparently I can also get wood. Sure. Interesting. Okay. Now that the quests are set and your heroes are ready to enjoy the hospitality of your town, it's time we spread the word to get some of the so-called heroes coming into your town. A notification. The weapon master arriving. Okay. Attracting heroes. Can help train heroes. Whoa, the camera. Is this something we can gather? Here's a tree. Well, I, I take the tree. Weapon master, open the train menu. Is this the weapon master? 
train class. Once you set up camp, click on the weapon master. Yes, hover over the this icon. This is so tiny. Build the training grounds to permanently increase the number of available active classes. Yes. I need to search for new classes. Here we go. Search costs. We're searching for... Oh, this is the badge. I feel like... I don't know. I like the idea of this game. But it's not fun to play. Is that just me? How's it for you? Well, I can, I can move the slide on the difficulty bar. But it doesn't say how it changes, so... I don't know. I don't know. Same for you. I don't know. I see. Too icy, then. Are we searching? Have I searched? Yeah, I think I'm okay. I don't I don't know. I, I'm not even continuing the tutorial here. We're not finishing it. It's... I don't know. I don't know what it's lacking, really. It's just... I don't need to save this. I'm fine. So the controls are clumsy. Building is just... It's, it's annoying, really. And then I know this is a tutorial and maybe once you play it, it's better, but I don't know, everything it feels a bit slow. There's a lot to set up. Um, the camera does wonky stuff. So a hero's rest. We're taking a rest from that. Um, slightly disappointing, but hey, it was great to check it out because now I know that's not really my jam. But maybe the next demo will be. So let's have a look at that. <laughs>